The 11th of July of 2023, I was heartbroken. Smoking trees in the garden, staring into everything that hadn't flowered, even though I planted it with so much care. I know I stopped watering it, and my tears don't have enough sustenance to keep a garden alive. I know I stopped cutting the grass. I know I stopped surveilling the bugs. I know I stopped asking the ants to stop farming aphids on my chamomile. I stopped trusting my care, locked my own judgement in a cell, realised that, like the aphids, I'd let others guide my steps. So, I walked away from the dying rose scent from the petals on the cement, reminding me that I'd fell. There was so much lack, so much left behind, but in that gap I found a voice in my gut. I heard it say, change your name. <laughs> so I named myself May and became the spring in January through April and in May. I started to shed the skin I'd grown over my own, chose to derive my self-worth from my mere existence, to call myself a miracle, to make myself acquainted with the crevices in my skin, sedimented with shame that, like origami, had been folding onto themselves and into pretty shapes. I kissed my wounds. I forgave. The fool that I am, fell in love with the same fool, chose to use every tool in my bag to face the good, the bad, the green past that had been stalking me for a 32 year while. I turned around, I looked it in the eye, said, I'm only here to have a good time. Even when times are hard, I'm only here to find the light in the dim hospital room. I'm only here to tell my friend to remember to look at the moon. I'm only here to take deep breaths, to stroke my cat, to hold a pen, to celebrate that my mother died on my birthday, to remind me that life is a party and so should death be. <laughs> Says you made it here and you made it out. Since then, I'm a feather in the wind. I pose myself gently on my window sill to remind me that they'll always be flying. Even when my feet feel like bricks, they'll always be trying. Even when my back feels like tarmac, they'll always be singing. Even when my throat feels like a pile of stones weigh it down, my voice will always find a way out. <laughs> 32 years of self-doubt, 12 months of healing, and I'm finally breathing. <laughs>